Tesla and the government working together. Everyone hates Tesla. Tesla and the government of Baltimore. Governments around the world are increasingly turning to innovative technologies to meet their ambitious, sustainable goals. And one company is leading the charge, Tesla. From local municipalities to federal agencies, Tesla's electric vehicles are becoming the go-to choice for government fleets. But why Tesla? The answer lies in a combination of unmatched efficiency, cutting edge technology, and a commitment to a greener future. Tesla vehicles are designed to be more efficient and cost effective than traditional gas powered cars. With lower maintenance costs and fewer moving parts, the ability to receive over the air software updates, Tesla ensures that government fleets stay on the road longer with minimum downtime. Efficiency doesn't mean saving time. It means saving money and the environment. Tesla's electric vehicles produce zero emissions, helping governments reduce their carbon footprint while also cutting fuel costs. This means more taxpayer dollars can be allocated to other critical services. Tesla is also versatile, whether it's for police departments, emergency response teams, or public transportation. Tesla vehicles are equipped with advanced features like autopilot, which can enhance safety and operational efficiency in high stress situations. In today's digital age, data security is paramount. Tesla vehicles are not only smart, but secure, offering government agencies robust data protection and fleet management tools that ensure sensitive information stays protected. And with Tesla's ever expanding network of superchargers, government agencies can rely on fast, convenient charging infrastructure, keeping their fleets powered and ready for any mission. As government strives to meet challenges of the 21st century, Tesla is proven to be a powerful ally, more efficient and more effective and more sustainable. Tesla isn't just a car company, it's the future of government mobility. Want to learn more about how Tesla is driving charge with the government fleets? Hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for the latest updates on how Tesla is shaping a sustainable future for all of us. Now, simplify Dallas on a lot of things that Tesla does. That means always faithful. And one of the contracts that were just awarded to Tesla, Baltimore City, is slated to spend up to $5 million to buy Tesla passenger vehicles for use by government employees. Baltimoreans will be seeing more Teslas on your streets after city officials decided to add Tesla to the fleet. Baltimore's board of estimates voted recently in a meeting to spend up to $5 million to purchase EVs made by Tesla for use by the city employees. The city has been purchasing electric vehicles since 2018, but the latest action in June 5, 2024, was the first time the city officials have voted to purchase vehicles from Tesla. It was also the first time that Tesla responded to the request for bids from car makers to seek to sell vehicles to Baltimore. The purchase comes as more and more companies and municipalities are buying electric vehicles to save money on fuel and cut down on emissions. Last month, the city of South California announced that it has become the first in the nation to switch to all electric police vehicle fleet. After buying 20 Teslas, the city estimates the purchase will save up to $400,000 over 10 years. At the same time, at least one company, German drugstore Chair Rossman, announced this month that he has decided not to purchase any more Teslas from the company used because he doesn't agree with the views of Tesla founder Elon Musk. But Rossman said he will continue to use 34 Tesla vehicles already in the fleet of about 800 vehicles. And we could go to carbon neutrality, but I want to just kind of highlight that this contract is important to Tesla. And many governments beyond the government of Baltimore and municipalities and federal agencies are utilizing electric vehicles to cut down on the management of the fleet, guys. I used to work in Motor T, and we repaired massive amounts of vehicles, gas-powered vehicles, and the actual chain that it had to go through and the process was long. It was frustrating. And it was massive amounts of infrastructure that needed to be created just behind fuel alone, let alone behind actually 
maintaining the vehicles. But South Pasadena transition to all electric police vehicles was authorized by the city council in 2022, following three years of research involving 35 other U.S. municipalities that bought Tesla. California has some of the highest gas prices in the nation. In documenting this purchase of 20 Model Ys Tesla vehicles for the police department after two years of use. So after two years of use of the vehicles, Model Y, city officials said that Tesla police cruisers provided and proved to outperform gas-powered vehicles previously in use, while also being safer and cheaper. Um, people care about eliminating green gas emission. But what I want to highlight is safer and cheaper. Those are very two important things that we always ask our government to reduce expenses and cost. And this is one way that they can. A staff report estimated that South Pasadena transition is expected to save the city 4,000 per vehicle per year due to the lower cost of energy and maintenance needs and about 400,000 over a 10 year period. And quote, we have had an existing fleet that was probably end of life three or four years ago. So we are looking for a solution to replace our fleet all at once, said Sergeant Tony in a video posted on social media by the police department. Quote, what we found is Tesla was not only a viable option, but it is the best option. The city is very environmentally and sustainably conscious. We got a much better performing car that costs significantly less to maintain and fuel. And again, let's highlight the maintaining and the fuel part. All right. I think initially there were some concerns from the community. Why are we paying so much for cars? But when you examine the total cost of ownership over a 10 year period, actually it becomes a significant cost saving. So when you look at the entire package, it became not only viable solution, it became the best solution. Guys, to get more information about Tesla and the changes that they're making, not only just for American private corporations, but also for the public sector and the government. You always got to come here to me. Everyone hates Tesla, but they hate to talk about the receipts. See you guys in the next episode. I greatly appreciate you for being here. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.